<clears throat> you alright, Mark? Nice to know that you're late. What? So you can feel like it's alright that you're late every single week on your show? I am never late. Hmm. I'm always on time. I was actually here an hour before anybody. <laughs> I was you... prepping the room. You were an hour late like two weeks ago, bro. I want to put your cigarette out. Mike, put your cigarette out. Y'all stupid. Put your cigarettes out. What's going on, guys? Nothing, man. You know we're going to be late again tonight. Set this shit up. Let's go live. I, everything's set up. Everything's organized. Everything's structured. Structured? Yep. I haven't oh. crapped in like four days, by the way. <laughs> I really haven't. Serious issues with your digestive system. Man. I know, man. What? Why is it funny when you say it? I mean, somebody else says it, it's like, damn, that's fucked up. And you say it, it's like hilarious. I don't know, but I have like intestinal cramps. If you're not shitting your pants, you're backed up for a week. You know those turds where like when you push so hard because it feels like you're like pushing like hot lava out of your ass, but it's like hard, <laughs> and you feel like it's gonna be like the size of like a human leg, but it comes and you look at the toilet when you're done and you're like, what the fuck is that? It's like a little little baby. It's like a pencil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, might some, he might have some blockage. But if you grab like a stick from the yard and start poking it, it's probably hard like concrete. Uh, yeah. Try yeah. to crack. It. Anyway, yeah. let's start the show. Let's do live good evening everyone thursday night the vape team is live welcome everybody i think this is like 126 if i'm not mistaken 126 episode of the vape team with me as always is truly a special guest a man that likes to comb his fucking goatee on the show the man that puts the ass in class the fictitious volunteer of smut, the smut gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Toucher, Mr. Pot Roast, Mark Fappen, vegan. Come sit on Uncle Mark's lap. <laughs> that was pretty nice. I like that. Thank you. I'd also like to share that there's another person with us who's not a special guest. He's not even a junior member. He's actually a full-fledged member of the vape team. He's been with us since the very beginning. The man who really put Matchy Matchy in a proper place where shit really matches. The Matchstick Man himself, Mount Olympus, King Clouds, Mr. Matchy Matchy, the Cloud King Mikey. Motherfucking vapes. Thank you for the introduction there, Brian. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome. Good evening. Welcome. Yeah, uh, so... I have something for Mark. Mark, yeah, go ahead. That, uh, your left side. Your, it's a little long, right? Yeah, here. yeah, it's long. Yeah, you got scissors there. You could do maybe a trimming right now, live. This side grows faster than this side does. So actually, I think it's the same length. It just, yeah, that is it. It grows yeah. faster. Anyway, do you ever think about using like a little bit of like comb in foam Rogaine or something like that on that beard? Yeah, that might be a good idea. I use it on my pubes. Do you? Well, yeah. Do you go for that full? Articulated bush look. I have hair actually growing up the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that that a hairy shaft could give you more more girth? Probably could. Mike, do you know that you're Greek? You know about hair. Come on. <laughs> I got to see. <laughs> I was gonna say something fucked up. I even said I was keeping quiet on this one. Anyway, 
Uh, Mark has a hairy helmet, actually. Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine Mark's helmet with, like, side hair on the sides of it? <laughs> he, uses that, he uses that same comb. <laughs> yes. I, I guarantee that that's a fucking... First of all, the comb is a lice comb that he got from his doctor. Uh, and then he used it as a crab comb to put on the crab lotion. It actually is a crab comb, thank you. Yep. Uh, why are you picking on Mark already? Yeah, why are you going to pick on me like that? Most yeah. people get rid of their crabs. Mark feeds them. He has this little sprinkle powder that he feeds them. I like crabs. Yeah. You, do you put Old Bay down your underpants? <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's off, I'll tell you. Woo! Well, since the world's coming to an end, as most people are predicting, I think that we should just relax a little bit and let loose tonight, fellas. That's right. The world's gotten so serious. Don't you notice that? Like, you go to, like, Starbucks and, like, your barista is talking about, like, political issues with you. And then everyone's like, did you hear about North Korea? Did you hear about Trump? Did you hear about this? Did you hear about the hurricane? Did you hear about the fucking disaster? And it's like, man, everywhere you go, that's all you hear about. I get all my news from Facebook, and I don't know about any of this. I barely knew Trump was president until last week, so. <laughs> That's scary. Up, Could you imagine the feeds um, he follows, Mike? I'm give everybody an update. Oh, so God. Last night, yeah, <laughs> episode 126 of He's like, and America you know, invades Vietnam. Some, you know, like, we also make some he watches cartoon news. <laughs> yeah. And we have a great time. This is Scooby Doo's running for office. Yeah. And, uh,. For Mr. Reason, McDowell just opened up another uh, or McDowell's you know, hamburger joint. Uh, people that easily get nice. Offended, and I say, well, let's talk about a little buffet uh, action. So as we do always video, about this time, yeah, is it is all you can vape buffet time, flagged, ladies and gentlemen. Get a strike. So why don't we have uh, Mr. Can't blow a fucking strike, O-ring because his air conditioner's on or he's fucking helpless? Go, go ahead, Fagan. They just come out all like deformed looking. You know, I've put a, uh, uh, let's see. You the, in, like I want to say the serious. Are you being serious or and serious? Which reason, one is it? YouTube gives you like two sentences. Are you asking me or Mike? I'm asking both of you guys. What are you asking? Left to the is it the serious or the serious? Uh, if the vape team, it's has fucking a flag, serious. Can't go live uh, S i r i u s, uh, dude. It's serious. Totally serious. Okay, we'll the serious by lost vape with the. Uh, what, I don't understand the question. Uh, the the question was, how do you pronounce so it? Serious or serious? If it was serious, wouldn't that not have an i u? And yes, just you want to make us stronger. It just sounds so, weird calling it the serious. As far that's as like last night. That's show, like Trump when he called I'm happy uh, to tell you that what I spent the he, past he called some African hours, country some fucked up uh, name stringing today. everything together. I was I able know. to get an oh, yeah. Anyway, anyway go ahead. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Back up a lot. Glaring part of you there. And sorry, I'm going to re-upload it. Uh, what is this? This is the, the hold on. And hopefully, 11, 11 with the goon. I will put it on Facebook or some other method of getting it to you guys. But that Kodama? show is not lost. There we go. And you'll be able With to watch With the black it. goon. All right, guys. Or the so African goon, or you want to put it. I'm working on it. And then the uh, vape sig. Uh, I don't even know what it's watch. called, but right. it is the DNA 75 for with the, uh, Sorry for the people baby that I messed up your Friday because you're used to watching the replay. Juice. And uh, it'll be bourbon custard. All right. This shit is awesome as hell. It's called Chewy Panda. And the one. The one and only. The one. That's it. Take it away there, you sexy fucking, I don't know, just take it away. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm feeling serious tonight, so uh, I'm also vaping on two of these seriouses. I you love... Know, it what? doesn't sound right. Serious? Serious doesn't even sound right for some reason. Why so serious? Sounds awesome. Anyway. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um... I, I don't even know what color this is. It's some sort of like a, I don't know, there's probably a name on the box, actually. It's like a light green. Yeah. How do you know that's the one I'm going to hold? I know, because we all got the same ones. Oh. It's like a light green or like an almost like a light. I'm auto firing. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so th this is probably my favorite. I love it. Such a beautiful thing. But yeah, the serious mod from uh, Lost Vapes budget line, which is called Mod Defined. Mod defined, and um, we're going to talk about that a little bit. I just burnt the shit out of that cotton. Mm. Thank well, you. Speaking You're of business, but yeah, take it away, Brian. Since we're giving shout outs, I'd like to give a shout out to Andrew Mulvhill. I think it's Mulvhill. Is it Mulvhill? M U L V A Mulvhill. Andrew Mulvhill? Mulvhill? 
baby. He just had a brand new baby, and the baby uh, was born premature, and the baby's healthy, happy, and home. So big shout out to you and the baby. And uh, Mark's going to act like a baby holding a baby. That's great for the baby, Mark. Way to... I was going to breastfeed the baby, but I guess not. Go ahead. Go ahead and breastfeed the baby. You need to finish your buffet before I have a breakdown. All right. Uh, so, yeah, re Reload RTAs as always because that seems to be the only RTA that I'm vaping these days. I also have the VP RDA sitting on top of the uh, the Wismec 200 watt fucking Sinuous 200 tonight with the VP RDA on there. Uh, what else am I vaping on? Always the beautiful Archon. Uh, love this thing with the vape team edition with the drop proto on there and uh, it's going to be a little bit more of a wait for the drop guys i got some word it seems like and we were talking about this before the show started that china is really backed up on their production lines so i will have a big announcement probably the end of the first week of october so that'll be the first announcement and then more will come so there you go uh, other than that i want to give mark a shout out because for once, he actually was not full of shit. Um, is everything backwards tonight? Can I find anything? I don't yes, think so. here it is. Game over. Or no, the one. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> what the fuck is that? up. Mark sent you his juice line. They didn't send me any. Yep. <laughs> so I know Mark is being paid for this juice, but... Uh, I have no affiliation with them. It's just a good juice. It really is a good juice. I gotta give them credit. It's sweet as hell, but it uh, it's like a strawberry. It, to me, it tastes like strawberry milk or like strawberry cereal milk or something like that. Really fucking tasty. So I recommend it highly if you like strawberry flavors like I do. I'm also vaping on a little bit of this straw mallow. Uh, straw mallow. Boom. Right there. I thought it was straw mellow. I think like it is probably mellow. straw mallow, but I call it mallow. Is it? Do you pronounce it like marshmallow or is yeah, it marshmallow? That's how, I, that's how I've been doing it, like marshmallow, straw mellow. What's the correct pronunciation? I mean, I always call them marshmallows, but I think it might be mallow. I don't Marsh fucking know. I say marshmallow. I say marshmallow too. So straw mellow. How about that, Mike? Yeah. There we go. So that's pretty much it. Uh, Mike vapes buffet time, my friend. Yo 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 yo. All right. Uh, vaping on the alien with the X baby beast on here. And here I have some the skinny vape pina colada. Also vaping on the SQ Punisher with the drop RDA. And there we have, uh, I don't remember what I have in here. Oh, drip witch. Got drip witch in there. Bottle somewhere around here. Anyway, vaping on that. I'm vaping on the VA Archon Cyclone Edition, Antheon RDA. And there we have some Sinful Apple Adore e liquids. God, I miss this stuff. This stuff is, ugh, oh, I miss it. Anyway, check out Dawn, her website, adoreeliquid.com. Get yourself Sinful Apple Roll. It's delicious. Love it. Vaping on that. Um, vaping on the eye stick. I can't remember the name of this thing. But this three battery eye stick concoction here. And on top of it, I got the OBS uh, Creus single coil RTA. And this one I have uh, this one here, another one from Skinny called My Mojito. I'm vaping on that. Paranormal. This one's the DNA 167 Reload RTA. And there we have some Blue Pucker. Lupucker. Vaping on that. I'm also vaping on another, uh, what do you call it, Creus uh, single coil RTA. And I got on top of this is a new 8 cigar DNA 75C. It's a dual 18650. Real nice mod. They did a nice job with this one here. Uh, and here I got another one of those liquids from Skinny. And there I have this one here called Apple Martini. My favorite one of the bunch right here. Vaping on that, and for the finale, I am vaping on the Why So Serious mod from uh, mod Modified defined. or mod Lost defined. Engine RTA. And there we have some of Joe Turner's Raspberry Custard, RoyalVapeProducts.com. And uh, 
yes, this we're going to test out right now to see if we could open up a bottle with this. If it is a bottle opener or if it's for a lanyard. Dun, dun, dun. You guys ready? I'm ready. Test? I got a bottle of Corona. Here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> here we go. Uh, nope, you can't get in there to open up, so it won't work. Fuck. But no, it's not a bottle opener. It's it's a lanyard. So let me ask you this. Are you supposed to, like, when you're on a trampoline, would you, like, put a lanyard around your neck and jump up and down with that thing around your neck? Yeah. So, like, this way it could just come up and slap you right in the fucking face. Oh, look, I showed, I showed it the other day at Heavy Show. Yeah, but that was Heavy Show. Well, you take the little lanyard that you get at the Vape Expos. With a little hook on it? Yeah, and then you just... Bam, clip it in there, and now you can rock this bitch. You can fucking jog around the block. You can peek in your neighbor's window, and you can have your mod just dangling right there. Could you right. imagine a creepy man like Mark sitting outside your window, window with a mod lanyard? Or imagine just sitting there fucking stroking it with your mod in <laughs> <it. Jeez. sighs> You could get, like, a little lip for your fucking lube bottle and have it hanging off a lanyard too, Mark, so you could be all set up for fucking a fucking whole Friday night. I think it's a pretty genius idea. Are you are you big on the lanyard vaping scene? Yeah, I prefer a bottle opener if it was. It would have been perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I, I don't hate it. It's kind of like a spoiler on a car. Like I think it kind of adds a little bit of uh, the change in geometry to the mod. I don't dislike it at all. Even if I never use it as a lanyard, it's not in the in a, a poor pl location. So I don't. I, it doesn't bother me. I'm cool with it. It does look like a one of them old uh, cassette players or what do you call the recorders? Yeah, like the when you're on like a creepy phone conversation that you're recording because you're getting a separation yes. from your wife. Like the investigators, people like the private investigators have them little micro recorders, whatever they're called. Start recording. That's what it reminds me of. So, Mr. Fingen, I'd like to let you know before we start this interview that this is going to be recorded. And uh, is that okay with you? It's not a fucking walkie-talkie, dude. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Do you guys like, like... Juices that are because Mike, you said the martini. Does that have like a booze flavor to it? Do you guys like booze flavored uh, vapes? Uh, you know, I can't tell if it's got a booze. I'm not sure what a booze vape is supposed to taste like. Uh, it's real nice. I, I, it's an awesome juice, flavor wise. Uh, I've been liking that one, and uh, the pina colada is pretty good too. And the mojito, the mojito one, I really wasn't sure because that's like straying into something that. Is not like my style of vaping, but who knows? I've never vaped it before. I tried it and I like it. So yeah, pretty good. But I, I don't get that alcohol taste. Is that what you have? I'm yeah, not sure. Like not. booze. Booze taste. Uh, shout out to Ashton Fillery. Thanks for the two dollar donation. He said, "Hey guys," and also uh, Greg Schultz. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Greg you. Schultz. Yeah, Mark. Do you like uh, booze flavors in your alcohol or alcohol flavors in your vape? No, I mean the bourbon vanilla custard. I mean, it doesn't have a booze flavor. I'm assuming it's supposed to be like a bourbon flavor, but I'm not a fan of the whole booze flavored. Yeah, not really. No. If you guys, uh, I guess Mike, you'd be the best to answer this. So if you're drinking, you know when like you would smoke cigarettes and you chain smoke when you're drinking. Mm -hmm. Do you find that vaping satisfies that? the same that's perfect you say that because i just had a conversation with a, a friend of mine that vapes and uh he came by he asked me he wanted some stuff i want to see if i had anything to hook him up with so uh, i gave him the hookup and um i asked him can i ask you a question have you gone have you smoked a cigarette since you've stopped vaping he's like a couple of times socially like if i get really drunk i'll have a cigarette because the vaping ain't doing nothing for me and, uh, he, and I explained to him what he had to do. Because he vapes a uh, three milligram nick. If you're going to go out drinking, uh, make sure you, make sure if you're a person that goes out drinking, whatever, and that happens to you, get a bottle of six milligram and use that instead while you're drinking. And you won't even notice. You're going to get a satis satisfying hit off it. Sober, you might cough when you're sober. But when you're drunk, it's going to be like you're vaping a three milligram. The six. Also, that's the way I see it. I hear that a lot, like people saying that when they drink, they still smoke. That's why they consider themselves like a dual user and things like that. And I think also because you're in a... What <sighs> the fuck? What the fuck? 
Was that an air horn? Mike, can't yeah, take this, Amy. You just hurt your, your fucking, the person who you support the most. I just want to let you know that. Mike is not happy with you right now. <laughs> no, no coffee mug. No coffee mug for you. <laughs> and I apologize for all the people out there that are having heart palpitations right now. <sighs> anyway. You're an alcoholic or you drink and you have an issue with uh, your mod not satisfying you while you drink. <laughs> Pick up one of these motherfuckers, man. This little thing right here will knock you on your ass. This is, I think it's 5%. I think it's using that Nick salt. Woo-wee, man. Two vapes off this, and I was spinning. So uh, last year when we were in uh, Miami, uh, remember when you worked the Movekin booth? Yes. Mark, and uh, you were, I think, Freemax. Anyway, <laughs> Hometown Vapor was there. And uh, they gave me a bottle of uh, Sweet Raz. So I had the bottle of Sweet Raz. I grabbed the Heracles sub -ohm tank. And I filled it up, and I was vaping it. We went out. We were drinking. I got plastered that night. But anyway, and uh, I was vaping it, and it was hitting nice. And I was like, wow, this is so good, the vape, while I was drinking. Next morning, I wake up, whatever, a little bit of a hangover. I grab the device to vape it, and I stop coughing my lungs out. Whoa, why is this so strong? There was six milligram. They gave me a bottle by mistake of six milligram nicotine. They didn't realize it when I was drunk, and it's, it was so satisfying, but vaping it sober, I noticed it, you know? So that's why I think that you got to double up your nick. Like that, for if you're doing three, do six if you're drinking. You'd be good. Yeah. Or if you're doing something like those little pods, where there's, there's like whatever high milligram of nicotine in there. Yeah, I think I just saw this week that there's some e-liquid that has, like, low nicotine ni nicotine salts in them. I think there's a lot of controversy. I actually need to spend some more time researching nicotine salts a little bit more. But uh, typically, like, the first time I ever vaped them was in the Juul, and it was, like, 50, per, uh, uh, 50 milligrams of nic for that. But I don't know. I, I mean... I think that I don't drink, so it doesn't matter to me. But I do know that a lot of people contact me all the time, and they say, yo, I'm trying to quit smoking. I'm having trouble giving, it up, giving up smoking when I'm drinking. What can I do? And uh, I think what Mike just said is a perfect answer for that question. Up your nick game. Yeah, because when you smoke and you drink, you always chain smoke. Like, you always light another cigarette before you put out your, other, your first cigarette when you're drinking. So you need something to kind of, you know... That was like the best too when drinking, you're drunk and you're just chain smoking and it's just so smooth because you're drunk and you don't feel, you know, the harshness you're getting in you. It's just, you're just satisfied off it. That's the same thing with uh, vaping too. Cause three milligram is like vaping air when you're drunk. It's nothing. You got to up it. And then you wake up the next morning, you're coughing up a lung because you smoked yep. a whole pack of cigarettes in under two hours. Yep. You're like, fuck, what was I thinking? Good. God, I used to go. I had sex with a chick that had one leg, and I smoked a whole pack of cigarettes. What the fuck? But when I used to back in the days when I was single, going out to the clubs, I just, I, I mean, I already had smoked two packs of cigarettes during the day, but I'm going out at night, like at nine, ten o'clock at night, going out to go hit the clubs, and I'll have to have another two packs with me in the club. You know, back then we were allowed to smoke inside, uh, inside clubs and all that, and uh, I go through the two packs easily. Till like four in the morning because the bars they close at four in the morning. The smoke until four in the morning. Another two packs. The next day, your fucking lungs are killing oh you. Oh my like... god! Between the hangover and just <laughs> everything. Oh god. Yeah. Sick. Look at Mark. QVC Somebody... Mark. Go ahead, QVC Mark. Well, no, you guys can continue talking. Somebody in chat asked for an up close. There we go. Uh, can we see an up close of your balls? Oh, I can show you my balls in a minute. All right. There's the screen that looks just like the DNA 75 screen. There's three buttons. There's a USB port. I would say that it doesn't resemble it in terms of the fidelity and the clarity of the screen, though, as the DNA 75C. I agree. It's uh, the same way of functioning of the 75C doing it. But it doesn't have as many features. It's not as yeah. advanced at all. No. Nope. I will we say in wattage mode, it hits hard as shit, though. It sure. seems powerful. It's nice. Yep. It fires right away. It's solid. It got no rattling. Yep. Awesome fire button. Yeah. Nice 510. Yep. No, they did a good job with the mod. 
Yep. The only thing I had, like I said, the automatic shut off after like five, ten minutes, whatever it is. Yeah, that sucks, doesn't and it? It's fucking annoying as fuck. Yeah, after. Is it firmware upgradable? I think it probably should be, right? Um, not 100% sure on that. I haven't looked. As you guys can see, after, what is it, five or ten minutes, you said? I think it's like ten minutes, maybe. So every ten minutes, the device is going to lock, and you're going to have to do one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah, it's annoying. Is there a way I to... I'll have a... Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was going to say, is there a way to turn it off? No. Nope. And this is the green one, and it looks silver on camera. Like, it looks silver. Yeah, on camera, it looks silver. Like, down here, because I'm a little bit dark right now, it looks silver to me. But in the light... With all the lights on, bright light, it looks, you can see the green. Hold on, let me see if I can brighten this up a little bit. It's a very light green. Yep. Like, I thought this was silver until Mike told me, no, it's green. Yep. <laughs> That's good, Brian. Now we can't see That's anything. <laughs> no, no, you can't do it in here. It's impossible on camera like this. Yeah, it's going to look white with that light. That's right. If you, go, if you go, like, on uh, Lost Vapes, uh Facebook, you could see it. You could see the green, and they got a nice picture of it. It's nice. It's a nice, something different in color. I actually like the green. The red one looks nice. I like the red black. Yeah, red and black looks nice. Uh, silver and black looks nice. They all look good. All the colors. I mean, physically, size-wise, it reminds me a lot of, like, the, Saint, or the, uh, the Predator and the... All the mods that are dual eighteen six fifty, uh -huh. similar size wise, but the button is is really awesome on it. Yeah, love the button. The five ten, um, it's got a little bit of a gap. It's not really a gap. It's just raised a tiny bit. Uh, what tank is that? The reload. Yeah. yeah, I got the engine. It's sitting flush. Is it? Yeah. So you think it's the reload? Maybe yeah. Or maybe the five ten is. The spring's not long enough. It could just be this one. I'll check my other one too and see. But the build quality is good. I think this thing's going to be really affordable because wasn't wasn't that Prism super I, price, affordable? Retail price is going to be fifty five bucks. Yeah, it's, it's a great price. Yeah. Um, I have seen a couple people say you know uh, they don't like the look or the design of it. I think it's clean, understated, kind of retro looking. I dig it. I don't like all the new futuristic rounded curved uh, LED light flashy, you know, I don't like those designs. So I'm more of like a cleaner, simple look. I like it. When I saw it, I fell in love with it. Yep. And uh, when I was vaping, I was even more in love. And then when uh, it shut off on me, I had to do five clicks. That's where I was like, motherfucker, had to ruin it for me. You know? Yep. But it's still good. I wonder if they have like that active DNA feature where it's, where there's always like a battery running in the background type of thing. When it's off, it's still on because it's retaining all of your settings, so it doesn't nope. delete the settings. You think that's I think what it is? a lot of companies do that. They throw that in there because they don't know how to stop it from draining the battery, maybe. I'm not sure. But uh, if it's firmware upgradable, I'm going to I'm gonna tell them, dude, you guys got to take that off. Uh, yeah. Well, there should have been an option. Make it at least five clicks to shut the device down, if anything. Well, you can't even adjust the brightness of the screen or anything. I mean, there's when you go into the menu, there's like literally hardly any adjustments in there. I don't know why they didn't just make it three clicks, locks the device, five clicks, shuts the device off. Yeah. That's it. Like, they're, you're so used to having to, because there's three buttons now. You have your up, down, and you have this mode switching button. Yeah. And you're so used to being able to hold plus and fire, down and fire, mode yeah. and fire, plus and minus together. None of that does anything. Exactly. The only thing is, you just got to, there's that one button that says M on it, which is menu, which basically activates to go into the menu system. Yep. It's on the screen itself, it shows setting, and you highlight setting, and then you could go into the settings part, which is your TCs and all that on it. Yep. That's it. Yep. I mean, in settings, you have uh, reset the resistance. You have your clean your puff counter to get rid of that. You have your TCR. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not much else in there. So as far as firmware upgradability, I don't know. It says, uh, Patrick Ritter said, you guys are fantastic. Thanks for being real, honest guys. Well, I can tell you this. Mike and I are definitely real and definitely honest. Mark has a sexually driven agenda, and he's basically here to pick up fucking some meat so i'm here for the meat <laughs> he likes to eat meat before during and after the show yes yes 
He's here for the what? what was it the roast? Yes. The roast. Gotta love the roast. Yep. Uh, have we reached a saturation point with dual eighteen six fifty regulated mods? And if so, what would be something that you would want to see besides? And we've seen triples, we've seen duels, we've seen singles. How can we continue this process of releasing new products all the time? Is it just simply changing the looks of the outside? And is that enough, do you think, to keep the interest going? You know what it is? A lot of people complain about so many mods coming out, but they have to understand, too, that the mods that they're making aren't only for the people that are into it big time. It's also for someone that's maybe new, and yeah. they're going to get their first 18650 mod. They're going to want to get something that's new in the market, you know? That's what it's mainly for. But uh, th I think that it's just too much. I'll tell you the truth. I th they need to, like, slow down, but they ain't going to ever slow down. No matter how many times we say it in videos that China needs to slow down, there's no slowdown with them. I think there's a lot to be done with the, the menu. Like, there's a lot of things that they can do. For one, let's stop adjusting devices in uh, 0.1 watt increments. Yeah. Who vapes at 51.2 watts? Like, yeah, I agree. Let's do 0.5 or at least one watt and get over this. this is, you know, it's so annoying. I'm, I'm surprised they still do this shit. Yeah. That's what I like about eScribe. In a DNA device, you could eliminate that. Yep. Set it up to do it if you want it in uh, 0.1 increments or in one watt increments or even 0.5 increments, whatever you want. You could set it up that way, which I like. I do that with all my mods. Right away, I go put them right into eScribe and I change that setting. I yeah, can't I stand the point one increments. It's pointless. Yeah, one watt. One watt's enough for me. I don't notice the difference between fifty and fifty point five. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I think Mike, you made a great point that I hadn't thought of before. I think as as a person that's seasoned in vaping, and I've been off cigarettes for like over three years now, and I've seen all these different mods come and go and come and go, and eventually it starts to feel like just almost like styles of clothing. But every year, new clothes come out. We already have clothes that work for us, but people are looking for a new style. They want a refresher. They want something to, to set off the season or set off that paycheck yeah. or, you know, to refresh things. So I'm cool yeah. with that. You're right. That's why I see people, and, and because they watch, there's a lot of people that watch lots. Every They watch reviews every day. It's just part of their thing. You know, people that even watch these live shows, they're fans of vaping. Uh, they're hobbyists. Uh, they like to see what the new, new is coming out. But uh, then you see a lot of them also complaining, oh, there's too much new stuff coming out. We have to, like I said, it's that goes with everything, like you said, too, clothing. Do we complain, oh, man, look, they just made a new T-shirt. How many T-shirts are they going to make? Right. Nobody says that. Or oh, sneakers. Does anybody complain about how many sneakers Nike has? Refrigerators, cars, electronic <laughs> equipment, phones, everything does that. Yeah. And sometimes you hit like a lull where there's not a lot of innovation and it's more just like the look and the feel of something. But I think they're always going to continue innovating. I do. But, I mean, you know, there was a good point that I think Dimitri made on the show last week. You know, a lot of these devices are being pumped out so fast that we're pretty much the beta testers, like the public. Yeah. They have to pay to be a beta tester. Like they're buying these devices when they're technically beta testing them until they get out like the perfect device. And I think if they slow down a little bit more, they might actually be able to put out a perfect, not a perfect device, but a somewhat, you know, better device. But then we've talked about this situation too, to where they can't do that because let's say they send a beta out of something and they're trying to perfect it. And then someone else comes out with that device or that, that special feature, then they're screwed. That's why they're just trying to get the stuff out to be, look, we did this first or, Ours is different than something else, you know? Just like uh, ideas with coming out with atomizers we've talked about. You know, if you don't jump on it right away, someone else is going to do it. Yep. So. I mean, I think if the companies select a handful of people to test their shit, don't take any photos, don't show it on any videos, I think they can keep them pretty hidden. It's that's not the problem, is that China, they don't vape. Yep. You know, the majority don't. There's vapors there, but the majority don't. So, I'm going to share with you guys, like, during – and my drop time frame has been ridiculously long. And I, first of all, I apologize to everybody that's been patiently waiting. Uh, it's probably not the normal standard for China to deal with somebody like me because I'm so picky when it comes to all the things that I wanted. But 
uh, one of the things I did was I would send them pictures of design ideas and I would have them, I would ask them their opinion and have them vote like the actual production team and give me feedback, right? So I've noticed during this process that like I would also ask Mike, Mark, and a couple other friends to vote on what they preferred also. And then the, the difference between the China feedback and the U.S. feedback from the people I trust was completely polar opposite. Like literally out of 30 people that I asked from the U.S., 29 of them picked the one design that I agreed with. When China did it, it was 95% the opposite of what we picked. So fundamentally, our preferences in design and, and um, just aesthetically speaking, and colors and the way that the shape should be and the way that things should look are completely different. Yeah. So it's crazy how that works. Now, I'm not saying that there's not Chinese designers. Like, I mean, if you look at the Aegis, I think that was a timelessly beautiful mod. It looks gorgeous. It was designed beautifully. So they can do it. It depends on who's designing it. But as a whole, I think China um, doesn't have the huge vapor industry market. You know, it's growing in China, but it's not like it is in the U.S. and in the in the Europe. Yeah. Well, that's why I think they're all these companies are doing these projects with like reviewers and people on Instagram. So that way they can get like the American, you know, uh, the Americans to design it and they could put it out and it could be kind of, you know, perfect. And then also they can learn from all the, you know, reviewers and the people on Instagram about what people in the U S and other countries like. Mm -hmm. I, that's why I think a lot of these projects are happening right now. And then you're seeing innovation, innovative designs from Indonesia, from the Philippines, from Italy, uh, from the UK, from Germany. I mean, there's, there's look at Mike's Russian mods that he's gotten. I mean, there's some beautiful work done there. So I think everybody sort of has a niche, and we can appreciate different styles and designs. But for some reason, I think China sometimes goes a little bit overboard with some of the design cues that they like. Thank you. Uh, I have good news, everyone that's watching the show. Uh, for those that don't know, Brad uh, Brad Kane from Brad'sVapor.com uh, had some drama from the storms that came through Florida. That's where he was located. So he had to sort of move and they lost power and he had some all kinds of logistical nightmare type shit going on. But I'm proud and uh, happy to say that Brad is back. So tonight we're gonna actually finish the giveaway, pick the winner from three weeks ago. And we're also gonna have another giveaway tonight. For those that subscribe, you have to be a subscriber obviously to the vape team. You have to also like this video and you have to comment in the comment section after the video and Mark is going to show us a little skid to set this thing off. Mark, you could put like you could have a mod shelf on your ass. You got a back you got some back door action going on there, brother. I got a back door. I am a hit in the gay community. You Look, really I would imagine it's desirable cuz I'm not gay, but I'll tell you what. I'm not either, but if there was like a hole in drywall and that little fucking rump roast was sticking out, I might indulge. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, let's see. <laughs> questions in chat here. Let's see what we have. Any? Are we doing questions at all or are we ending the show? It's your show. We can do whatever you want. Oh, I thought I was the guest tonight. Well, it, <laughs> it's your show well, as the guest. You're the guest. Actually, so it's your show. Actually, we'll, we'll, look at, we'll look at chat if there's any questions. Mark, you could find that... Uh, what was it, three weeks ago? I don't know what episode that was. Oh, man. Let me see. Which episode was it? You know, it was the episode title. 123, maybe? Let me see. Let me see. I'm not sure. All right. Da, 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 da. Mark, do you, <laughs> Mark, do you put an elf on that shelf? <laughs> <laughs> We should have an elf on his shelf on his ass. I could probably try it. Here All right. Um, am I looking for a specific title or anything to this show? Was it before Bogan or after Bogan? Uh, uh, it was before. I I, I, I have the... Uh... Was it with Dean? Hold on. Before Dean. I think it was the week before Dean, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Yeah, so that's 122. I think. When bears attack. Or 123, maybe. Because it was Daniel, then just us, then Dean, then Bogan. Was it? What was the giveaway for? I think it was Dean's week, if I'm not mistaken. What was the giveaway for? The I'm, charger? Hold on, I'm looking. No, uh, no, no, no. We already did the charger. Okay, so then it's the one after. It's the one with. Uh, what do you call it? With Dean. Dean. 
probably start off. Ooh, that's me. That's you, buddy. Yeah, it's for the Arco tank. Yeah, the Arco. That's right. Yep. Uh, they were supposed to write "Suck my Arco, Brad." Yes. That's just for if that was the video. I'm gonna put the comments. Yep, that was the video. All right. Well, we can answer some questions, and I'll just preload this and get it ready. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Have you guys gotten the Tony B Pulse Squonker yet? <laughs> no, we have not yet. Nope. I think they're releasing. Uh, what did I hear? Sometime in uh, October. October. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a few weeks out still. East Pistol because that's they're just China's behind. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Revenant Cartel or Vupu Drag Resin? Neither. I think the Vupu Drag Resin is nice. I'm just not a fan of the shape of it, for me personally. I'm not a huge fan of the shape. Um, I, I do love the, the... I love a whole bunch of stuff, but the Revenant Cartel was a nice mod. You like it was a nice mod, huh? <laughs> was a nice mod. He likes the funky 160. I love the funky 160. I think it's an awesome, awesome device for the money. You can't go wrong uh, with the funky. Actually, the battery life of this uh, this new Sirius is exceptional. Yeah, like really fucking like star power good. Yep. You guys see the, the what do you call it? the capo the capo squonker by Hydro? No. Awesome. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I haven't seen it yet. Mm hmm I just hope that they're not are they're not shipping. It's not a twenty one seven hundred or yeah yeah. Oh, okay. it's gonna take it's gonna take both. 21700 2700 it's better that they do it that way because if the sams when the samsung uh 30t comes out it's ready to go yeah you know so uh, and I, if i'm not mistaken it's also going to have an adapter so you can use an 18650 so somebody asked in chat are you guys ever going to vape I've been vaping this whole damn show. <laughs> I am insecure about vaping on my own show because I hear nothing but shit about how loud I vape. But you know what? For you, I'll fucking vape. I don't care. Oh, I've been chain yes. vaping over oh, here. What I'm going to chain vape then. Dude, I've been vaping this whole damn show. I'm going to turn the power up. I'm going to get it in dry hit territory to take a risk. Hold on. 100, 110 watts. 0.15 coil on the Sirius. With the uh, cap, capo squonker hasn't been released yet. We don't have it. Yeah, see, that's why I understand why Brian doesn't vape because he's loud. But have you tried a Philippine made squat box mod? I think, Mike, do you have any Filipino <laughs> squat box? What, squonkers? No, no, no. Philippine squat. <laughs> There's a new movement going on, guys, called Brian Be Loud and Proud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a loud coffee drinker. I like to slurp. Uh, What's the best RDA? <laughs> you have to be a little bit more detailed than that. We need more. Why are they saying I'm muted? Are you? Someone said, Mike, you're muted. Spectre said that. Stop trolling me, Spectre. Mike, will there ever be a version 2 of the icon? What's that? There was a question in chat. Mike, will there ever be a version 2 of the icon? Uh, I'm not sure. If it is, it'll be next year. Um, the uh, Sirius takes dual 18650s. Yeah, dual 18650s in the Sirius. I'm so glad that was not a LiPo. When I first saw it, I was like, it's so small. Do you guys like LiPo mods? Is there any LiPo mods that you guys really, like, would you prefer over dual 18650? Um, yeah, I think I like lipo because uh, it hits hard to the end. You know what I'm saying? You could notice when your your 18650s get halfway, it starts. You're not getting that same hit, but the lipo halfway, you're still getting that punch. So I like lipos for that reason. Yeah, I don't yeah, mind lipos as long as they're big. I don't like small like 900 or 1200. Just they don't get you through a day. You look at nine up, don't you, Mark? Yeah, nice fucking niner. I got a couple of lipos, lipo devices that I still use. Mark's like a de Mark likes a downtown Chicago niner. I got, I got this one here. This one's got the lipo on it. I love this one. The Cyclone mods, the Evo, that I use all the time. 
Uh, this one here, the Nomads one. I use this all the time too. So people were asking about thoughts on the pulse, um, the pulse and squonk mode. I think the pulse in regular mode and squonk mode is great. Yeah. I think the pulse is an awesome RDA. Do you think the 24 is better than the 22? Without any question in my mind, it's far superior. Yep. Will there ever be a tube squonker? It would be... What? Yeah, it would be long as hell. Yeah, it would be long. Yeah. I just answered that question. The capo squonker has not been released or sent out yet. I think I'm pretty sure I just answered that. But nope, not yet. Also, I've actually thought about that a tube squonker. I had a couple of drawings that I did, and the problem is, is that you have a choice to either put your squon. Now, if if it's not going to be vertical, like squonk bottle battery, or squonk bottle battery, then it's going to be just as wide as a current dual eighteen six fifty squonker or single eighteen six fifty squonk box. So, unless you did like a baggie that went around the entire battery and made it like a like a squeeze your whole hand type of thing. Uh, it would be so long, and then also, how would you get your 510 connection to make contact with your battery while also having a tube? So then it would have to be below the battery, and you'd have to have a tube running up the side of it. It just—it's really tough to come up with a concept that actually makes sense, and not what, instead of doing it side by side. Uh, someone in the chat asked, "Is the Entheon is real or just hype?" I'm still using. It. I fucking love using this thing. Uh, someone said it looks like the Stanley Cup. <laughs> In my video, oh, I like it. Fucking nice. Is the t uh, where'd you go, man? Are you trying to hide them smokes like a ghillie? That was deleted. I have no uh, idea. What I don't even know what they're saying. Some <laughs> weird people. Why do we we attract a lot of the strange birds? It's because of Mark, Mike. It's because of Mark. It's Mark, right? Yeah. Calvin Tech. Nice question. Yeah, we don't talk about drama, and it's not even beneficial for anybody to do that. So, I'd like to stay positive. Yep, we don't start uh, that kind of shit here. Yeah. Yeah. We don't deal with drama queens. So it seems like the Legion just went live. There you go. <laughs> the Legion will be on the show Sunday. Make sure everyone comes join us. Yeah, what show, Mark? Tell them. Not another vape show. Seven o'clock on the Vape and Fagin channel. We're talking about the blacklist. There you go. Uh, Mark, did you punch up the giveaway yet? Yes, I did. It's ready to roll. Let me know when. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. The winner is. Wait, what did they have to say? Uh, something about the Arco. Suck my Arco. Yeah, something suck my Arco. Do, 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 do. Winner is Mike Shelton. He said, suck my Arco, Brad. Great show, guys. That is Mike, C-H-E-L-T-O-N. Shelton? Yes, Shelton. Shelton. So, Michael Shelton, <clears throat> contact me with a picture of your photo ID, your name, your address, and your email address. That's all the information I need. Message me on Facebook Messenger to the Vapor Chronicles, and I'll be happy to send your information over to Brad, and he'll get that Arco tank out to you. So, there you go. Uh, are we doing a giveaway this week? We are. A welcome back, Brad, from bradsvapor.com. By the way, if you guys have never been to Brad's Vapor, everyone always complains about, I bought this mod and it broke or I had this problem or the paint was fucked up or this was a problem. And everybody's always afraid to contact the company in China that they bought it from because they wanted to save five bucks. If you go to bradsvapor.com, if you order something from him, if you have a problem, you will talk to a real human being in the United States that's going to take care of your every need. And he stands yep. behind his products. Best customer service in the business. So yep. Customer service matters, and I think you get what you pay for with Brad's Vapor. So let's do – tonight we're going to be uh, announcing for next week's show a giveaway for the Geek Vape Aegis mod. So all those people looking to get into that built like a brick shit house. This thing is built better than Mark when he's actually walking the block selling his schlong every week. Uh, you know, he, his ass gets in good shape. His legs get in good shape. He stands all day. This is built better than that, and that's built really well. So top shelf mod, top shelf booty. I do want to answer this question real quick, but this guy's been asking it a lot, and you can't really answer it. He says, recommendations for a mod to get for my birthday. 
you have to be a little bit more specific. How many watts do you vape? How many batteries you want? Uh, you know, there's so many variables, but you have to be a little bit more detailed in what is a good mod. Thank you. By the way, if you guys go to Brad's Vapor, you can use coupon code VAPETEAM, V-A-P-E-T-E-A-M, and you get 10% off your order from Brad's Vapor. So there you go. I never even saw that code before, but we have it now. So yep. thank you. All in capitals. All, all in one capitals. Word. All one word. Vape team. 10% off bradsvapor.com. What do we, what's the giveaway for tonight? The, video, the giveaway for tonight, for next week, is the Aegis. There you go. The Aegis by Geek Vape. So after the show ends, wait for the replay to come up and comment down below. And your comment to be entered in this giveaway. Obviously, you have to like this video. Yes. And you got to be a subscriber to the Vape Team. you got to be a subscriber to the Vape Team. And your comment's going to be, Welcome back, Brad. That's your comment if you want to be entered in this giveaway. You are so fucking awesome, Mike. Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back, Brad. Welcome back, Brad. Welcome back. Yeah. We should do like a trio. What's the best e-juice? I don't think there is such a thing. Yeah. There's no such thing as the best. I don't know. There is no best. Everybody vapes differently. It's, I don't know. How, it's, that's a hard question for stuff. I don't know. The best fucking tube steak in Chicago is fucking Mark Fagan. Here you go. Check out these fucking balls. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's 11.04. Uh, that's it. That's a wrap. The vape team, we're done. 126 down the hatch. A bark's fucking throat. <laughs> Cloudy Entertainment, the vape team. Anything else, gentlemen? That's it. I'm saying bye to everybody. Bye, everybody. Don't the say booster. bye to everybody in chat. I want you to say bye, Mike. Show Mike some bye, love. Buddy. Bye. Bye. <laughs>